Good day guys, Ben here. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to cham chamfer this corner. Okay, so uh, for example, I wanted to cut a um, 100 by 100 void here. So let's do it. So first, I'm going to try the first method. So I just create a similar create another wall i'll change this to finish uh finish face uh, exterior so we can pick this edge and pick this edge and i'm going to trim trim so i'll try to drag this so um to help us i'm just going to draw a line in 100 and also cs another line 100 and now let's see if we can move this corner to there so it looks like it will it's okay still okay but it will break here see it will break here so let's try if I, if we use the wall joints on this uh, corner and click on next and also this one click on next and then we can move this wall further but when we when we move the wall to here to create this corner 100 by 100 so this happened okay so i'm not sure how to fix this so it looks like i can't join them uh, if you know how to fix this that would be that would be great that's that i think that that would be better the, the, the easiest method so if you know how to do it please let me know okay so looks like it's not perfect uh, for this exercise for the 100 by 100 corner so what i'm going to do is let's try different method so i'll delete this one so the method number two is just uh, a model in place void okay so go architecture component model in place so i'm going to use wall category because this is a uh, wall so okay and okay so now void so actually i'm going to show you three different uh, way to create the void so first void extrusion okay so void extrusion so we're going to pick a set of wood plan so currently it's ground floor which is okay so and then we're going to just draw so draw draw a shape so 145 degrees go back so now finish and you can just type this uh, height here or you can drag this to whatever you you need so now you can just cut and before you cut, you will notice that this corner, currently, this corner belongs to this wall. So you need to click on this wall and click on this. Okay. So, and finish this model. So now you will see, if I change to shade SD, so you will see the material here. It's not brick. Okay. It's a, a default wall uh, material controlled by object style on the wall category here okay so but the easiest way is just to change this uh thing this face you can just use under modify and use paint and if i search brick so this is the only brick material in this template so i'll just paint this face and that's it okay so this is model in place void with uh, extrusion okay so and I, i'm going to edit in place so i'll delete this extrusion and i'll create uh, another void this time we're going to use a sweep okay and also in a uh, full sweep we have two different method for the path i'll um, uh, i'll show you uh, the difference so if we use sketch path and you will need to pick a face first Okay, so oh, sorry, pick a work plan first. So set work plan and pick a plan. Okay, so I'm going to pick this wall as a plan, and then you will need to pick. Uh, you can you, you will need to draw a path. 
okay you can draw a path but it will be in this plane okay so because this was uh, perpendicular to this wall so i know that if i pick the wall and pick this face this will be right on this corner okay so now i can finish this path and go here and edit profile so i'm going to draw uh <coughs> excuse me i'm going to draw a, a, a triangle shape as well so similar to the extrusion which you draw this profile on the work plan so you draw this on this cross so this is a like a work plan for the part for sorry for the sweep it will be sitting in the center of this uh, part okay so 145 degrees and 100 so if i click finish and I go finish so this is the um, sweep void okay so now cut wall void okay so um so yeah you can finish the model now and the i think it's um the sweep is slightly better than extrusion because uh, because when you move the wall you will notice that it will follow this wall because we we create this sweep using a the work plan from this wall so if you move this the work plan move as well and which means the void will move as well but sometimes it let me just try this so you will see because we didn't lock the path onto this wall so we if we move this wall this void won't uh, this void won't follow so um it it's possible to lock everything and uh, make this void to follow your walls but sometimes if you constrain too much it's a uh, it's actually making uh, uh, problems so i would recommend just um, try not to constrain too much okay so okay so now let's let me just show you another sweep so and also uh because this is using a uh, reduced uh, sketch path you won't be able to switch this sweep from a uh, switch path uh, uh, sorry sketch path to pick path okay so you can't just switch it so you just need to delete it and uh, create a new one so create a new void sweep but this time we're going to just use pick path okay so you will notice that uh, pick path you can pre pick 3d edges what is this mean this means so so previously sketch when you sketch a path you you pick a word plan first then the then all the path will in that plan so it's 2d phase it's in that 2d phase you won't be able to uh, let, let me just show you okay so what we can do in use pick pick path so you can pick this path of course you can also pick this path you can also pick this path so, and you will notice that these three paths they are not in one plane they are in two so one's here and one's here right so um the, this is a difference but sometimes you will need a 3d path for the sweep okay so but in this for this exercise we only need this one so uh, which means uh, compared to sketch path it's slightly easier so one step e uh, uh, easier so you just need to pick this path you don't need to worry about uh, which work plan I need to pick so that's that's it that's a path and finish the path and click here and go edit the profile so same same you can just let's draw a triang triangular shape and finish and that's uh that's it so finish this void and we can cut all void that's it and finish so of course let's paint this face and also when you paint if if you're using the same material uh, to the last 
last time so you don't need to pick its default the last one so that's it and then uh, um, I think the pick path the benefit of pick path is if you uh, looks like a uh, hell instance of income uh, not cutting holes yeah I think this happens sometimes it's just like sometimes it will follow uh, let's don't worry too much about this but uh, today's I just um, the let's don't worry too much about the constraint okay so today I just want to show you the way to create this uh, this uh, chamfer wall so um, so this is method number two okay so we can use a void either extrusion or void or oh, sorry extrusion void or sweep void to cut this corner okay so now I'm going to show you uh, another way to do it okay so another way so this method it will be the reveal okay reveal so before before we create this reveal we will need to create a family so we will need a profile reveal open and now you will see this is the wall okay this side is wall on the right hand side and this one of course that's uh, uh, that's nothing here so we just need to create a shape to cut the wall so okay so let's click on this line and I'm not sure which side but um, so I'm going to actually I'm going to cut both side okay so I'll draw 100 this side 45 degree and go up 45 degree and trim it so doesn't matter which side the wall is the wall can be on this side or this side but I'll always cut this corner okay so now load this back into the family so let's go to 3D view and you will notice that uh, you, can't, you won't be able to create sweep and sweep and review in floor plan so you have to do it in 3D view okay so <clears throat> go to wall reveal edit type so change this profile you can duplicate if you already are using some uh, review so create a new type and pick this I think I believe this is the profile we just did so click OK of course it will be vertical and move to the um, the edge of the wall it depends depends it depends on which the core which uh, which wall this corner is belong to so I'll just cancel that this so you will notice that this corner the corner is currently belong to this wall so you will be able to you will only be able to cre create this reveal sorry this one on this wall you can't do it here so if you move here you will see it's a uh, uh, it's a circle with a with a, a what's that called <laughs> a, a, a knot available or something you can't do it here so you can only do it here so just move see this the shape of this review just move to this corner and when you see a little bit very uh, dashed blue color line that's it okay and you will need just once you click nothing happens that's fine escape so that's it so let's try try um, let's just copy I'll, I'll just copy this wall okay it will automatically copy this review I'll delete the review and also I'll copy another one okay so and also I'll change the um, change the corner change the wall joints of this corner so next so now this time it will go this corner will go to this wall but this one's go that yeah belong to that wall so let's try it uh, once one 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 once again okay so um, wall reveal and this one this, this this corner belong to this one so I just move to here see the blue dashed line click it escape and let's do it again reveal this one move to here escape that's it and um, I think that's that's it uh, if we move this it's okay because this is uh, this 
this review is on this wall so if you move this wall it will follow but this one you will need to just adjust uh, adjust this family so let me just try to type in zero uh, still not still not perfect maybe just need to move it to um, to manually something like that okay so this is method number three so we we tried three different methods one the first one is just draw a, a, a wall diagonal diagonally <laughs> sorry and the second method is use model in place void uh, either extrusion or sweep and the last one is um, reveal and also reveal you can also change the height if you want to so okay so that's that's it um thank thank you for watching and if you have any question or if you have any uh, tips or tricks or anything please let me know okay so thank you i'll see you next time bye